This is our IKEA Billy bookshelf. And as you can see, we bought three of them and used it to wrap in this corner. Yeah, this is me putting it together. If you were to go to the IKEA website and search Billy and check out the different variations of this bookshelf, you'll see that there's ones with cabinets, ones with glass, and a few different color options also. Now we went with this one right here, which is the one that's 79 inches tall and 15 and three quarters inches wide. And like I said, we just paired it up, as you could see, using this type of hardware to make it so it can wrap around in the corner that we need it in. There's one of the anchors, anchor it to the wall, and then that's the hardware to put it together. So then it makes the corner. Now getting started, just go ahead and open it up. I pretty much found all the instruction manuals right there after you open the box and then I always just like to skim through see what's going on and we'll see what it really is requiring so a screwdriver flathead Phillips it does ask for a hammer and right here it'll say that you you should have two people helping during this project but Honestly, I was able to get away with just doing it by myself. It would be nice if you had two people just be able to lift it up at the end and making sure that you have uh, just help when you're putting it together. It makes it go a little bit smoother. Uh, looking more on it too, just like that whole tip hazard, like I said, that's why it's cool to have two people. And if we look at it right here, we're just going to go ahead and put together all the stationary shelves together. So the little wood pieces uh, would then go into those. So like I said, just right here, go ahead and take some time, inventory everything, make sure you have it. The hardware was inside that box I had a second ago. So just be careful of that, not to throw that away. After that, I'll go ahead and fasten the screws to the board, each one of these. And once that is done, you'll take all those stationary boards that you just put the, the wood dowels in and Fasten them to the side. Here, make sure that you leave the board facing with those screws outward. That will make sure that you do not see the screws when you actually stand up the bookshelf. I made the mistake of not doing that and I actually had to flip it later on one of them. So just please make sure to follow the directions right there because it, uh, yeah, I definitely did not. And then you just go ahead and throw the cam locks in, fasten everything down. Right here, then you would go ahead and take the other board and place that on top of all the stationary ones and then fa fasten the cam locks also. Here's where the pencil comes in handy where you can go ahead and mark the back of the bookshelf to see where that center shelf is. So you're able to then slide the backing on and then hammer across. They said to use 18 nails. I honestly didn't feel like I needed that many. 
but use as needed, I guess. And then after that, you're able to go ahead and start putting the pegs in and figuring out where you want your shelves. Throw those in. I kind of measured out where we wanted them depending on, on, on the books and things that we we're gonna put on it. And then just making sure you secure that thing to the wall. That's pretty much it. Very simple, great design. Uh, I do love the, the clean look of this. We did end up throwing a lamp back there too. Uh, we were able to control that lamp on a switch, so that's very helpful. And you know, the Billy's been around since 1979 and has been a, a go-to choice, as they said on, on the IKEA website. 